Hi everyone. Welcome to our list or tumblings of this session of the year. Thank you for joining me again. And it's been a pleasure to have you into this little corner of my home every week. So today are the um, turkey stories. So we're gonna get started. So in your bag, or you should have your scarf, okay? You are going to need your scarf today and your flannel board. And there's a couple different art projects that I'll, I'll explain to you if you haven't already done them, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put our song on. First one, and let's get going. Shake your scarves. You ready? Scarves up, scarves down. Shake your scarves all around. Scarves up, Scarves down, shake your scarves all around. Scarves in, scarves out, shake your scarves all about. Scarves in, scarves out, shake your scarves all about. Right knee, find your knee, left knee, shake your scarves fancy free. Right knee, left knee, shake your scars, fancy free. Right hand, left hand, shake your scars with the band. Right hand, left hand, shake your scars with the band. On your back, on your tummy, shake your scars. On your back, on your tummy, shake your scarves nice and funny. Scarves up, scarves down, put your scarves on the ground. We're gonna clap. Very good. Excellent. So I have to warn you a little bit, there might be some noise coming in, a neighbor's having the roof fixed, so that's the joys of working and videoing from home. So if you hear some tapping, it's just the roofers across the street. Corky was here, that's my cat. For some of you who have not seen him yet, he likes to come into the videos. He's been sleeping the last three weeks, so I don't know. He's not like in the window being open, so we'll see. Our first story today is the Turkey Bowl, and it was written by David Steinberg. So let's start, shall we? Let me see, open up this book. Gobble, gobble, said the turkey. That means, hello. Gibble, gobble, said her friend, which means, let's go. So they gobbled on down with a wobble and a hop round the cobblestone corner to the turkey bus stop. Here they are. Gobble, gibble, said the driver. Gibble one and all, which means we're off to the turkey bowl. When the doors whooshed open and the umpa band played, all the turkeys marched out in a proud parade, down a cranberry carpet to the glittery hole, where the male's mayor said, gobble, meaning have a bowl. All the turkeys in tuxedos said gabble gobble good and the turkeys in their evening gowns said gabble I would. So they touched their wings together and twirled all night and they danced till their feathers met the morning light. Sometimes Miss Wendy has a hard time seeing the words, the light coming in bounces off these pages. Gobble, gobble, said the turkeys. That means, thank you. Gibble, gobble, said her friend, meaning thank you too. Then all the tired turkeys fixed their wobbles and their combs, and they gobble, gobble, gobbled all the way to their homes. There go. Seems like they had a fantastic evening. 
put that book aside. Now it's time for our flannel board. So if you have your flannel board, now you notice mine's blue, but some of you might have purple or white or light blue. We all have a different colored flannel board and it's okay. So our, here comes Corky. Our flannel this week is colorful turkey. So you have all your turkeys and are you ready? You can spread them out and sort them out. And then when you see that color and hear that color, put it on your flannel board, okay? There was a turkey with a purple feather. She makes friends in all kinds of weather. In flew her friend with feathers of, let's see what color we have, green. He's the niftiest I've seen. Next came a turkey with feathers of yellow. He's certainly a fine looking fellow. Next comes a turkey with feathers of blue. He struts over to see you, me, and you. Last but not least is the turkey of pink. She's the prettiest turkey, I think. There you go, did you get all your turkeys on your board? Well done. And here's Mr. Corky. I know Dean's been uh, asking about him, so he's making an appearance today, obviously because it's our last story time for a while. So one of your projects today, you will find a paper plate, looks like a turkey head, there's a beak and the waddle and eyes and paints. And this week you get to finger paint, but don't worry, you're not gonna get dirty. You can put your fingers in it if you want to, but there's a special little paint dauber that you stick on your fingertip. And you just put your paint finger in the pot and then decorate, paint your plate however you want, okay? Just all those beautiful full colors. You don't even have to cover it all. You can do as much or as little as you want and then glue your turkey pieces on, okay? That's just one project to do. Another thing that you have in your bag this week, let me just put this paint to the side. And this is to help practice your fine motor skills. A lot of you are so advanced now. I'm so proud of you. You're doing wonderful things at home and school. You might have a turkey like this, or you might have one like that. And there's holes punched in it, and everybody has a lovely shoelace. And all you have to do is thread it through the holes. Okay, so there you go. Just thread it through. Use those little pincher fingers to get through the holes and you can put knots in it. You can do it however you want because it's your turkey. And then you can take it out and do it all over. If you have a sibling, you probably have two different turkeys and you can trade and do turkey, um, each other's turkeys when you're ready, okay? We have another story. And this one is Setting the Turkeys Free by W. Nicola Lisa. There it is. Let's see what these turkeys get up to. see my dog and I are making a turkey first I put my hand in paint then I spread my fingers apart and press my hand into a big piece of paper when I lift my hand look there's a turkey the thumb is the head the palm is the body the fingers are the feathers they look like a tail now it all need now all it needs are some legs and feet I know, I could use toothpicks. And you could do some painting turkeys at home with all your leftover paints. See, now my turkey can walk. But remember, before you start painting anything as mom and dad, if it's okay. Hey, not so fast. I still need to decorate you. Here are some fun, shiny things. Now my turkey is beautiful, but all alone. So I make another one and another and another until I have lots of turkeys. I love my turkeys. To keep my turkeys safe, I make a pen out of popsicle sticks. Now they can run around in their own little yard. Uh-oh, a storm is coming. And what's that I see? 
Foxy the Fox. Where'd he come from? Go away, Foxy the Fox, you're frightening my turkeys. Gobble, 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 go away. Gobble, gobble, shoo. Look, Foxy the Fox can't believe his eyes. The turkeys are hiding behind each other. To him, they look like one big fat turkey dinner. No, Foxy the Fox, you can't have my turkeys. Well, what should I do? I know. I make a fist, smear it in the paint and press it onto the paper right in front of Foxy the Fox. There. Try getting over that big purple boulder. Bumpy rock. Oh no, Foxy the Fox is climbing over the rock. I have to save my turkeys. Quickly, I unlock the gate and push it open, setting the turkeys free. There they go. Now there's not a turkey in sight. Ha, take that, you mean old fox. There will be no turkey dinner for you today. But now I miss my turkeys. So I cover the rock with grass and put little pieces of corn on the ground inside the turkey pen and hope that someday my turkeys will come home to me. Yes. And they do. That was another good story. So like I said, over the weeks you've gotten a few extra art supplies. You might have some extra paint or sequins and glue so you could try making and some feathers and you could try making your own turkeys but again as mom or dad or you're growing up before you start taking paper and doing things okay your other art or craft project again it's foam this time so you have another turkey body it's a little different and a belly and some different colored foams so what you can do with your grown-up is trace your hand on each piece because that's going to look like a feather okay and you have all these different colors and this will be a good um, a nice little memento of this Thanksgiving because it'll be the size of your hand for this year and on the back you could put your age in the year because we probably need something good to remember this year and here you go that's what it might look like Everybody's hands are different, okay? Everybody's shapes are different. And you don't even have to do it in this order. You don't have to use all your colors either. It's up to you. Remember, it's always your project, so you do it how you want. And then, of course, glue your eyes and all your little pieces. I don't think I put extra glue in this week because you should have some glue from previous weeks, okay? Last but not least, of course, there's a little list of turkey books. And I try not to make them too much about Thanksgiving. There obviously are some about Thanksgiving, but there's just different turkey stories that you can have your grown up phone the library and we will set those aside for you. And this week's recipe, chocolate caramel turkey legs, looks delicious. I love chocolate. Who doesn't love chocolate? Unless you're allergic to it, then you don't love chocolate. So it's easy to make with chocolate and pretzels and caramels. It looks so yummy. So give it a try and let me know how it turns out. I cannot believe our eight weeks have gone so quickly. I hope you've enjoyed listening to stories and singing with me each week. I've certainly enjoyed doing it for you. There is a Christmas uh, holiday story time special in December. So you can start registering for that November 30th and inside your kit, you'll get some craft things and a sing-along sheet and bells because previously we always had Mrs. Claus come to the library, but Mrs. Claus has to stay in the North Pole this year with Santa. He'll be out Christmas Eve, don't worry. So she has to make sure he stays healthy and all the elves are out there helping him and they're busy. So I'm going to do the story time from my home this year, and but we can still sing along and have some cocoa and have some fun, okay? So that, um, like I said, you can 
reserve your kit starting November 30th and it will be posted online by December 12th. Okay, so we are going to have one more scarf song. So get your scarf out. Let's turn on our music. Get that song ready. Dean, Corky must have known you'd wanted to see him. And for all of you who haven't seen him, that is my cor cat Corky. And he actually behaved today. Sometimes he knocks things down and he can be a little naughty, but we'll see. He was pretty good today. So, oh, Miss Wendy, what are you doing? Okay. Let's see. Is it playing? There we go. Maybe. Scarves up and down there and we around. Go. softly flowing left right left the scarves are softly flowing left right left up and down and around up and down and around up and down up and down up and down and around the scarves are softly floating release them up in the air can you catch it catch. the scarves are softly floating release them up in the air catch up and down and around up and down and around up and down, up and down, up and down and around. Release them up in the air. Are you ready? Watch them go to the ground. Release them up in the air. Watch them float to the ground. Sing it. Up and down and around. Up and down and around up and down up and down up and down and around the scars are softly flowing left right left the scars are softly flowing left right left up and down and around, up and down and around, up and down, up and down, up and down and around. The scarves are softly floating, release them up in the air. Catch the scarves are softly floating. Release them up in the air, catch up and down and around, up and down and around, up and down, up and down, up and down and around. Release them up in the air, watch them float to the ground. Release them up in the air, watch them float to the ground, up and down and around, up and down and around, up and down, up and down, up and down and around, up and down. everybody so until I see you in December take care and we will have some Santa stories jolly old man himself here we go another little Santa and um, the special in December is for ages two and eight so Nadia you know Aiden can join us and um, I hope everybody has a very blessed Thanksgiving it's different this year 
but we can all adapt. I know we can, and I hope everyone goes to bed Thanksgiving night with a full tummy and snuggle up in a warm bed. Until then, take care. I miss everybody, but you know, we will see each other soon. So love you all. And remember, moms and dads love you too. So listen to them because they love you. Take care. Bye-bye.